If you want to know how you can make your own Game Pass gifting system in Roblox, you're going to have to make sure you watch the video honestly to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own gifting game pass system. And what I mean with that, so let me just start off with a note real quick, the other player will not see game pass owned, they will not see that because they don't actually own the game pass. We're just going to make a workaround, you know, around it, because what we're going to be doing, we are going to be making a value, and we're just going to set that to true and save that when they even, when someone gifts it to you, you know, you get my point? So they don't actually own it, but they actually do. So it's kind of like, yes, no, but yes. So uh, first of all, big shout out to Salvage for helping me testing this system because I had some errors, but he helped me fix them uh, by just simply playing the game. And uh, yeah, this is basically what we're going to be doing for this tutorial. So if you're new to the channel and you like my video, make sure to give it a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please, stop, uh, please drop a dislike on the video because it really helps me out a lot because it means honest feedback. And honest feedback is... It's, it's fascinating. It is amazing. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure you hit that bell to never miss out on anything I upload. Make sure to become a member by pressing the blue join button down below. And all I can say is that without further ado, let's get right into the, the tutorial. So what we're going to be doing first, you need to get the model from the link in the description. And you're probably wondering, newbie, why a model? Well, because it is really hard to set it up by just... Uh, you know following me so what i did i made a model with all assets but no scripts yet so what you want to do you want to go to the link in the description get the model and then get back to view you know over here studio oh no 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 uh we're gonna go to view we're gonna go to toolbox and we are gonna click on the four blocks at the top left what, whoa what is this strange anyways uh we're gonna go to the the, the four blocks at the top and you'll see gift game pass newbie so just click on that and you'll probably see like two scripts yeah sure just add it in and then you got the folder so you're probably wondering newbie how do i set this up in my game so you'll probably see this replicated storage service script service service storage start gui you're going to open replicated storage and you'll see a remote event named general and you're going to drag that into replicated storage because that is where it belongs then you're just going to simply delete the folder. And over here, oh, you'll see a uh, service script service and just drag it in service script service. Service storage, service storage. Start to GUI, start to GUI. Before we actually do anything of the coding, make sure to go, you'll go in the UI, delete the text label because it's an accident. I actually didn't mean to add it in. So delete that one and turn the visibility off from the frame. So just do this, boom. And this is your game setup. Now we're going to be coding the entire system, so make sure that you watch closely because we're going to be entering a speedy, speeding up mode, whatever. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end and enjoy.
So as you may have seen, that was all of the coding for this tutorial, but we are not done yet. We have to do some things more, and uh, this link will be in the description, so you can just copy this link from the description. You may have noticed that over here I put ID, and I did that on purpose because we haven't done uh, three things yet. So you want to go to your, uh, you know, your, your base plate game, whatever. You want to go to game settings, and then you want to go to, uh, first of all, security, and you want to enable a studio access to API, and enable third party, and that's it. Let's just click save. Then go to game settings again, go to monetization, and then develop a product. So create a dev product, and let me just save it because uh, Roblox is being stupid. Then you will see this. So I'm going to just do, um, I don't know, Game Pass. I'm just going to call it Test Game Pass Tutorial. I'm going to make it one Robux because why not? So I'm going to press save. Then you want to go to Game Settings again because we need to, we need to um, copy it. So then go to over here and then click Copy ID to Clipboard. And then just do that and then click Cancel. Then over here in your server script, or never mind, the client one, you'll see ID and just replace it with the ID you just made. Then go over here and you'll also see ID. So make sure you change that too. So right over here, you will have an ID, which is exactly what we need. So this is the entire system done. And now we are entering the recap section. So I'm going to be explaining what every line does. I'm going to start with the client script because it's a little bit easier. We are just requiring services um, in case they're not there yet. We are listening to an on-client event from the replicated storage from the remote event. If the argument is gift game pass, then we will make a system message saying that someone gifted a game pass. Uh, if you haven't put anyone in the text yet, you cannot purchase the gift. And if you do have someone in the chat, you can gift them. Uh, just an open and close button. And over here, we are just setting your image because why not? Because that's funny. Then over here, we are just checking. Uh, we are making a process receipt function with the info. We are getting your user. Uh, we are getting your player. If the player is not there, we are going to return not process yet because Roblox really requires you to do that. Then we are checking for the product ID, which is the module script inside of it. If the module is not there, we are going to do not process yet. And we are going to do, uh, we're just going to print that to you. So just so you know, if there is a module, we are just going to do purchased, as you can see over here, uh, purchased just like that. And after that, we know that the module is there. So we can just do purchase granted because you finally have the um, product you bought. Over here, all we do is we are sending a um, a bindable event to the server. And what is a bindable event? It is basically server-to-server -server communication. A remote event is client-to-server or server-to-client. But we're going to be doing server-to-server -server because that is insanely secure. And we are going to fire the player and test game pass because uh, this is the argument which, which is going to be in the chat. You know, like newbie derby dev bought uh, test game pass for blah, blah, blah. You know, you get the point. So that's what we're doing over there. And now the largest script, the server script, it is actually like 100 line, 103 lines. As I said, over here, we are requiring services. We are checking the data stores. We are getting them. Over here, we are listening to a gift game pass sub, uh, subscription from the async. We are checking if you're in the game. And if you're in the game, we are checking what game pass was bought. And uh, when you're there, we can just simply do it true. Over here, let's see. If you're not in the game uh, yet, uh, or well, if you're offline, we're just going to save it on the data store so we can uh, gift it to you when you log back in. And I just realized this needs to be game passes. My bad. And uh, let's see over here. So we got local function, save data, and we're checking, uh, we're going to save a table of information. So we're going to save that on the player user ID, and we're going to save that. Uh, we're going to save everything inside of the elements table. We are checking if you joined, and we're going to be creating all of these folders. We are getting your data, and we are setting uh, your gift value to false, because you've been gifted it already. So we can just use the normal data stores to save it, which is uh, a little bit more better. Over here, we are setting your um, test game as a value. Local function player removing. When you leave the game, we are going to save your data on the function. So let's see. When you type in a player's name, we're going to change that player's name on your um, give name value. Over here, we are listening to the bindable event. And what we're going to be doing, we are going to be gifting the game pass over here, which uh, with a lot of arguments. 
and then over here we are putting it in the chat we are connecting the process receipt to the uh, module script over here we just coded and we are connecting the player to join this is exactly uh the recap section and now let's head over to testing mode so before we actually test this out make sure that over here you type game passes and over here game passes because if you don't do that the game will error and it will not save the value so uh because we fixed this we can now finally put it to testing mode so i'm gonna ask my friend salvage to join real quick and we're gonna be doing this so my friend joined over here uh, let me just type hello hello so what i'm gonna be doing i am going to <laughs> there we go hi uh what i'm gonna be doing right now i'm gonna be putting a loop so we can see what the value does so three to one boom as you can see, he does not own the game pass yet because it's false. Okay, so that's pretty clear. So I'm going to go to gift and I'm going to gift him the game pass because that is the point of this video. So I'm going to click this. As you can see, would you like to buy test game pass tutorial for one Robux? So three, two, one, boom. And as you can see, I just gifted the test game pass. And as you can see, the value turns to true. As you can see right over here, it went from false to true. No way, thank <laughs> No problem, my friend. So what I'm going to be doing right now, we're going to both be leaving. We're going to rejoin, and I'm going to show you that the value actually stays to true because it is a permanent game pass. So let's do that right now. Okay, and we rejoin back. As you can see, this is a clean server, and as you can see, because, you know, no no name, whatever. So what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to be pasting the loop again. So three, two, one, boom. And as you can see, it is actually true. It is set to true because... We actually save it on the DB. And this is exactly the point of this tutorial. So this Game Pass system does work if the player is offline. It does work in another server. So if you're in server A and someone is in server B, you can gift them. It will work. It will work exactly uh, as you want it to. Poggers, you heard it, you heard it here, folks. Newbie. Yes, thank you for testing. So this is exactly what, what we did in this tutorial. So make sure you give it a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Please drop a dislike on the video if you don't like it. And make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And do whatever you want. Make Become a member. Join my Discord server. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie. And I say, peace out. <laughs>